today. Jerry writes, you guys do such a great job. I watch you every day. Given your discussion with Entourage and the long delay hurting the movie on Monday, and you've just mentioned Incredibles being one of the most highly anticipated sequels on Tuesday, do you think the long delay will hurt the Incredibles sequel? Yes, I do think it will hurt the Incredibles sequel, but I don't think it's severe damage. I, I really don't. See, the difference between something like an Entourage and Incredibles is that Entourage had an audience. It definitely had an audience, but it was a I would say, especially age, age range, it was a very finite audience, right? And so I think you need to really, that just increases the need to strike while the iron's hot. This Entourage is a movie that should have come out a year ago. With The Incredibles, you have a lot of people who watch that movie and adore that, that, adore that movie over multiple generations. You have like people who were kids when they first watched The Incredibles and made that great impression, and now they're like in college, and they're like, I love, I've been waiting, there are people who've been waiting for this sequel for so long, and it's it's multi-generational as well, that I think that, have they waited too long? Yeah, I believe they waited too long. But the damage of that, I think, is going to be really mitigated by the fact that it's so popular, it's multi-generational, and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think it's going to be that severe. Alicia, what do you think? Do you think the long wait is going to hurt it much? I don't think so, because The Incredibles is kind of an evergreen idea. I mean, you watch it and it feels like a gentle spoof of a 60s spy film mixed yeah. with like 60s comic book heroes. Whereas Entourage is of the moment and very right now. And, and I, I liked Entourage. I thought it was fun. I just thought it was a bit of a missed opportunity to lampoon Hollywood even further with what is happening right now with the mm, studio system. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like because of that, because Entourage has to be like right now, that's why that delay hurt it more than something like The Incredibles. Schnapp? Uh, yeah, the, the the biggest thing is animated characters don't age. So you can literally <laughs> step out of 20 years out of a door and be like, hey, what's happening? And nothing is different. Um, so, I mean, you have that going for you. And it's also The Incredibles, the first one, obviously with the second ones they're working on, but that's available everywhere. So kids nowadays, right now, can watch it and it's fresh, just like when you watched it 10 years ago, it's fresh. So it, does, it doesn't age. Animated films just don't age. So the ability to make a sequel 20 years from then and to, or 10 years later or another 10 years or another 10 years, the characters will always, if they wanted to, have the same exact look. I mean, you have to get the, you know, the voices back. So, you know, that's one thing. But I don't think, it, I don't think it's really going to hurt it. I think, like you said, it's an evergreen because animation has that ability to not age if it doesn't want to. Yeah. 